So Jesus says, my sheep know my voice. First of all, notice the word sheep. Jesus calls us sheep, right? Which is one of the dumbest animals, right? So we're supposed to be sheep. Sheep just go along with anything. They can be easily swayed for is what I know about sheep. Now, he says his sheep knows his voice. Now, how will we know the voice of a person whom we never heard speak? The minute that we were left with men who wrote about what Jesus said, right? We were left with the voice of strangers. If you think about it, like we never heard Jesus speak for ourselves. So how will we know what he said? How will we know what his voice sound like? We never heard him speak. We never heard what tone he used. We never heard him say anything, right? How can they hear without a preacher? So the minute that Jesus' words were left in the hands of men who wrote what he, what he allegedly said, we were left with strangers, the voice of strangers through a pen because they strangers to us. We don't know the men who wrote about what Jesus said, right? We don't know if they communicated accurately what he said. Jesus never wrote nothing himself. So we supposed to be sheep. First of all, he calling us an animal. He's re Jesus is referring to his followers as animals, as which is in the, in the dumbest animal at that. So how are we supposed to know his voice? How do we supposed to live by every word that proceed from the mouth of God if we can't verify that God said any of it from his own mouth? We can't, how are we supposed to know Jesus' voice if we didn't know who he was? We don't know the men who wrote about what he said. So they can only be the voice of strangers to us. Think about it.